Hello, this is Steve at GreenFuelHO.com. Today I'm going to show you how to evacuate our storage tank so that we don't have any gas in here at all, any oxygen, nothing in here. We want this tank empty so that when we compress hydrogen into it, all we have is hydrogen in the tank. We want to stay safe get that hydrogen content above 97 percent so that we don't have any problems with explosions we don't want anything exploding I just want you guys to know I'm not an expert and what I'm doing here is for exper experimental purposes if you decide to do this on your own you take all responsibility upon yourself you need to get out there you need to learn you need to know what's safe and what isn't when we get into compressing hydrogen, you got to do it right because you only get one chance. You get any oxygen in this tank above 3%, there's a huge risk of explosion. So you want to do this right. And the only way I know I'm doing it right is I have a analyzer here that will tell me how much hydrogen I have or how pure the hydrogen is by a percentage. I want to get above that 97% so that I can be safe. All right, so today I'm going to take my compressor and what I've got here is I've got a fitting on it. And this is the intake of the compressor. I've taken off the muffler, put a fitting on it so that we can attach this tank to the compressor got a fitting here this isn't a normal air fitting this is a this is a uh, a gas fitting so we've used uh, higher grade fittings that way we're not getting any leakage so it's not a straight air compressor fitting and we're gonna hook it to here and we're going to evacuate all the air that's in the tank we're gonna evacuate it out let's do that now so I'm just gonna connect this up And you can see I've got a valve here. This is my ball valve, so I've got a shut off here, shuts off the tank, and I've got a ball valve here too. Once I've got this completely evacuated, I want to make sure that this is shut so that no air can get in because there'll be a vacuum in here, it's going to want to draw air in. That way we can go ahead and turn that, turn this, so we'll be able to unhook it and still it'll be holding a vacuum in here. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on the compressor. And then I'm going to go over and turn on both the valves so that it can start to there will continue to build some pressure as long as you see the needle moving it means it's drawing air out of the tank so you want to keep doing this until the needle doesn't move anymore I right, let the air out of the tank with this valve here That's the compressed air that's in this tank. Okay, I want to go ahead and do this process. This takes quite a while, probably, but this tank here is going to take me probably about a half an hour to get all that air out of there. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and we'll cut the video and come back. All right. We've been evacuating for quite a while now, and the needle has stopped moving. So we pretty much pulled out as much gas as we can with this compressor. So we're going to go ahead and shut it off. But first off, we're going to go over here, close our valves, and shut it off. 
and then in the next video we're going to fill the tank up to 20 psi with our hydrogen generators here and then we're going to go ahead and test the purity with the analyzer all right this is steve thanks for watching